and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Sonia and in this video I just combined all of my 2022 main floor Christmas decorate with me videos into one marathon so you guys can put this on your TV or whatever device you are streaming it on and get some cozy Christmas vibes or some more decorating inspiration. Whatever you are here for I am glad that you are and I hope you enjoy. I love putting these together for you and you seem to be enjoying them as well. I do still have some more decorating to do on the outside and the basement but for the most part we are done decorating the inside. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and comment let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Christmas memories Oh oh La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 oh 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 La da da Before we get into cleaning I need to tidy up this space put some stuff away I did do a good cleaning of it but it's been a while um, since I had prepped my house for Christmas decorating as you can see we do live in it so it does get quite messy so I'm going to put these shoes away and also I'm going to dust my entryway table if you are stopping by my channel for the very first time my name is Sonia and on this channel I share tons of cleaning and decorating inspiration so if this is something that you think you will enjoy I would love it if you considered becoming part of my YouTube family by pressing the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well uh, in this bag, I, do, I was just sh showing you, I picked up tons of DIY supplies as well as pickles. My husband wanted pickles for the tree, so oh, I picked up a few of them because I do have six full-size trees that I decorate, so I wanted to have a couple uh, for a couple different trees. And uh, so the, in this bag, I also purchased tons of DIY things to DIY for or over on my DIY channel. If you didn't know that, I do have a DIY channel as well as a cooking channel. And I also have a vlogging channel that I post occasionally on just things that don't fit into any of these video, these uh, t channels. And these are, if you don't know who these two guys are, that's Duke and Frank. Duke is a Bernese Newfie, he is the black one, and uh, Frank is a Bosnian Croatian Shepherd Dog or a Tornjak. Um, they're extra large breeds, so that's why they're qu quite big, but they are my babies. So I'm going to uh, dust this uh, off again, and then I'm going to start decorating it. I want this to have a rustic wintry theme kind of in there so I don't know if it, I'm gonna reach the the wintry but like lots of greens and earthy tones is what I'm going for.
I do apologize for the little dust speckles on my lens. I did not see them, but apparently when the sun hit it, you, it picked it up pretty good. It does get better once I move the camera. I wanted to make this tree um, with the branches down so it kind of looks like the, those alpine trees. I have actually purchased three of them. I'm hoping that they come. Um, they're supposed to come through Amazon um, and the, the, we just got a notification that there was a problem with delivery. But I, w I did purchase three of them for my living room so I'm hoping that they come. Living room video will be up next after this one so in a couple of days. Um, so just make sure you tune in and see if it actually um, if they actually did come. absolutely love the way this turned out most of the decor here came from home since the doble I ordered from a local store and the pillow came from my, uh, Michaels and the little basket was online I will try and link everything that I can down in the description box For the merriest time of year come on now it's time to set up my tree. I have had this tree for several years. It had come from the same nursery um, as the new tree in the family room. If you missed that video, make sure you tune into that. And um, <clears throat> this tree, I wanted a slim and tall tree at the time when I was purchasing it and I couldn't find anywhere. Again, I bought this tree at Boxing day for 75 percent off and i think i still paid around 400 dollars for it so they are quite expensive trees now having said that i did have a semi meltdown um two years later when the middle light stopped working and i did call the store complaining about it because i thought if i'm paying that kind of money even though i got it on sale but still the lights should have lasted a little longer but after I come down and finish my meltdown I did add some string of lights and you can't even tell that the ones that are on there aren't working but uh, they suggested I check every single bulb which I thought I did and I just it didn't work and I, like I said I was quite upset about it but then got over it and just moved on <laughs> So this is kind of creepy. <laughs> I didn't realize there was anybody walking between my house and my mother-in-law's house until I was um, editing my video. I'm pretty sure it's the guy from the city reading the meters, but it is kind of creepy. And I think that's why Duke did come by me and then he ended up going into the living room because I think he sensed him as a gift and cheer. So come on in, come on up, come on over. The neat thing about this tree, it can be 3 feet, 6 feet or 9 feet. It just depends on uh, which part of the tree you remove. But I thought that was kind of neat. And that's why only the middle section wasn't working because it was one of the, the sections. Because each tree has a, its our own section of lights. So um, that's why it was just the one section that didn't work. I also want to mention that these Wi-Fi plugs, if you have not have had these on hand, I would encourage you to pick them up. They are super inexpensive. I think they're $20 Canadian for four. And I set up, I plug all of my trees, all of my garlands, anywhere where I have lights. I plug it into that and into the socket and then I have an app and I just program it and in the t uh, set up the timer and they come on at 5 and turn off at 11. It has saved me so much 
aggravation of turning off all these lights because like I said I have six of six full-size trees but it just and it saves energy that way if you forget you don't have to worry about forgetting to turn off the tree and I will link them down below they are from Amazon and they do work with Google Home and Alexa if you have those as well for this tree I am using um, going for more of a rustic woodsy look so kind of continuing the same theme from the side table or the console table to the tree and I am just using a burlap that you would find at a um, Home Depot or Lowe's for wrapping up trees as my tree skirt. Lots of decorations on this tree are also DIYs that I DIYed over on my uh, DIY channel. And I had forgotten that I had wanted to fix this sign, so right now I am putting it up, but I will make the sign over. I still want it to be farm fresh Christmas trees, but this one is a little bit lopsided, so I will fix that up. So here is my entryway, and I am super pleased how it turned out. Now we are moving into my mudroom and if you haven't seen my mudroom makeover, it was quite a transformation. I encourage you to see that video. I will link it down in the description box. So I'm going to give it a little bit of clean. Just these shoes need to, need to be put away. Shoes everywhere. And then I'm going to add a tiny bit of decor. Because the room is so small I didn't want to overcrowd it I did keep the same wreaths wreath on I might add a couple things to it down the road but for now it's staying as is a little Christmas tree again the same pillow for Michaels and I just made a little wreath from a garland from Dollarama and then I was thinking I might get a beaded ribbon a beaded garland to go and hang on that hook and for here in my powder room it is very small there's not a lot that I can do here I am going to add some greens from my garden and that will add this nice fresh um, Christmas smell into this bathroom and then I'm just going to add a little sign up here behind the toilet uh, I usually keep an extra roll of toilet paper in here and then I'm going to put my battery operated candles I did run out of all my batteries so I have to go pick those up and set those on a timer as well so I think this is perfect just a little bit of touch of Christmas in the bathroom so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I love the way all the rooms turned out. I might tweak them a little bit, so you will have to come back and check them out. Um, 
during my home tour see if there were any changes but for now I am very happy with the way this looks and how it ties all the rooms together so until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not and if you're enjoying this video give it a thumbs up share it with a friend and let me know down in the comments what you think it helps me grow a lot and it's free thanks so much and I'll see you next time bye friends and welcome to my channel my name is Sonia for those of you stopping by for the very first time today I'm going to be taking you along as I decorate my formal living room this is has to be one of my favorite spaces to decorate for any season and uh, obviously Christmas is one of them so I'm going to start off by just wiping some stuff down off of the mantle as I mentioned in my previous videos I have done a whole prep with me uh, for Christmas video where I've uh, deep cleaned and got all the rooms ready. So I'm going to be adding the same garland that I did last year. If you have not seen that video, I will link it up in the sky. I have a mega video where I shared all of my decorating from last year in one video. And it's also fun to see because this room looked completely different last year than it does this year. So I'm going to be adding command hooks. I don't know where I've been all these years and never used command hooks. I am obsessed with them this year. <laughs> I am using them everywhere that I can and they have been, they have made my life so much easier. So uh, I am going to, like I said, attach that garland a little bit differently than I did last year and I'm also going to spruce it up with some greenery that I picked up last year. I can't remember whether I got it at Dollarama or at Michael's. Also at this time I thought I wanted to have some berries in here just to add a little bit of red color into the um, garland but once I have decorated the mantle I wasn't loving the berries in it so you will see me taking them off later on. Once I was done uh, fluffing up the garland, I went ahead and decorated 
the mantle and I'm using my DIY Dears that I DIY'd over on my uh, channel, a DIY channel. I'm actually using quite a bit of DIYs in this room's decor and I would love to know what you guys think, whether you can tell that I have DIY'd these or whether they look like they have been store-bought. So I am adding these little houses from Dollar Tree that I spray painted and just some uh, adding them on a little uh, riser like a cake tray kind of thing. Uh, I picked that up at Beauclair. And then on the opposite side, I am adding some of these um, Christmas trees or evergreen trees. And I always like to use books if I have two things that are the same height, just to give it a little bit of a height difference. And I have wrapped these uh, books in some um, brown wrapping paper just to make them look a little bit more antique and rustic i'm just adding a couple branches that had fallen off while in storage and yes these trees came from uh, home sense a couple years back so as you saw i just removed the berries because i thought the mantle was just perfect without them This year I have decided to put my snowman melting pot on the opposite side and I used to have it all hooked up with the re uh, garland and the Christmas tree that's in my front room all in one but I am going to since I have an extra one I'm going to use this Wi-Fi plug and plug it in on in this corner these Wi-Fi plugs are great I put them on a timer and this uh, melting pot doesn't have a timer so um, I have it set up so it turns off when all the other lights it turns on when all the other lights come on and it turns off when they come off too and I also added this wooden Christmas tree here that came from home since several years ago now I'm going to move on to my coffee table and as always I love absolutely love this truck and I change change out seasonally what goes in it this year I decided to make it look very rustic and I'm adding some of my cedar branches from the garden as well as some mini pine cones I am also going to add this uh, birch bark vase and in there I'm going to add some frosted branches that I picked up at HomeSense as well and then I also added a lantern. And I felt at this time that I needed a little bit more stuff in this bus. So I have had these wooden sticks that I picked up at a local florist. Um, and I added them in here. And I think they gave that woodsy rustic look that I was going for. I always struggle with what kind of pillows and blankets to add to this couch because it's so brown. Um, so for several years I have kind of stuck with just white color and I am adding this brand new blanket. My daughter gave this to me and it's perfect size and a perfect texture for this couch. And then I'm also going to add my sparkly white pillow that I've added for several years. And then over on my DIY channel, I have DIY these pillows, pillowcases. Well, actually I made the whole pillow, so I added that as well. I will have my DIY channel linked in the description box if you want to check out any of these DIYs. I also swapped out some pictures over here for some Christmas ones and I added some of my other DIYs which were the nutcracker as well as the mistletoe sign. And now I decided since this banister you can it kind of goes um, into the living room type of thing so I wanted to decorate it as well and I'm adding my brand new cedar garland that I picked up at HomeSense and I just love this one I had used it in my on my fireplace in my family room if you haven't missed that video I will 
link the playlist to uh, all of my Christmas decorating videos that I've done this year down below as well so you can check that out. So I am just using a piece of um, brown rope to tie the uh, garland on because I'm going to be adding bells as well and I'm going to be using the same rope to add those bells to the garland and then I'm going to add some black ribbon that I picked up at Dollar Ram. And I did forget to mention that the bells did come from Amazon. So I love the way this turned out. I think it looks perfect to tie all of my decor in the, on the main floor together. Now I was waiting for these to come in and I was hoping that they would have come in before this video went out and they did. I ordered these trees over on Amazon and I just love the way they look here and I just added some lights to them because I bought them unlit. They're called aspen trees and they come in a set of three. So here it is all decorated. I just love the way it turned out and I just wanted to show you how it looks when all the lights are off. Now it's still not quite dark outside but I think it looks so cozy and inviting and it is exactly what I was going for and I am super pleased with the way my garland turned out as well. I just have this pillowcase here with a pillow which is the pillowcase that I DIY'd. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep this pillow here. I might make some more more suitable for this space. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out all the other decorating videos. I have a couple more left to go before I share my full home tour. So you make sure that notification bell is on so you don't miss those videos. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you all so much for watching. I am so excited to share with you all this video because I will be working on my freshly renovated dining room and I am also obsessed with my new hutch and cannot wait to decorate it as well as the rest of the room. So I have started with my Christmas tree that I have decorated ahead of times. Didn't want to bore you with the Christmas tree decorating yet again. 
so I just wanted to show you what it looks like with the lights off and the lights on. I went with a very wintry theme for this tree. It is a flock tree that had come from Lowe's. And now I'm going to move on to my hutch. I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning and then I'm going to start with decorating. And if you don't mind today while you're watching this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me down a comment letting me know what you think. These things help my channel a lot help me grow and I really appreciate it and if you aren't already make sure you press that subscribe button it's totally free to subscribe to my channel and I would love to have you here Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. let's go to the ocean I wanted to create a little bit of a wintry scene up top on the hutch and I love the way that turned out. And then continuing the same color scheme, I'm working down uh, on all the shelves of the hutch. I had thrifted this hutch uh, way back, probably like March of this year, and I had made it over. I shared that video on my DIY channel, and then I placed it here. In the, I used to have a more of a formal, um, kind of more modern hutch here before, and uh, that one went over to my mother-in-law's, and this one fits the space much better now since we've um, made the room over. So I'm using a lot of greens and a lot of reds and a lot of whites in this room. And then I'm sprinkling in some uh, brown earthy tones, like a woodsy tones. Let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our free. I love the way this turned out. Uh, I love everything red truck, especially at Christmas time, especially using truck decor at Christmas time. And I think this ties in really well on this shelf. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Now over here in the corner, uh, I am going to place this fresh Christmas tree sign. This was another DIY from my DIY channel. And right underneath it in a corner, I had put my uh, tea card that was in the corner where the tree is now. So I just moved it over. And again, I want to create another, uh, a little bit of a wintry scene. So I have this... Um, I don't know what you would call it. A, is it a candle holder uh, that I added one of those little houses from Dollar Tree that I had painted white. And then I want to um, add some lights to it, maybe some trees or some uh, things in it. So that's what I'm working on here. I put moss, a uh, deer moss at the base of it as a as a base and then I also sprinkled a little bit of coarse sea salt to create a bit of a snowy effect no he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times Oh, 
Now it's time to move on to my table. I am going to add a table runner. This was I picked up at um, HomeSense. I think that was last year, and it has it's white uh, with a little bit of kind of like a sparkly um, silver uh, thread through it. Very subtle. It's not sp like sparkly in your face but just a little bit of sparkle and I think for my wintry scene in this room this is a perfect table runner and then I had thrifted this tray a while back uh, in search of a doble, I came across this which reminded me of a doble but not quite a doble because it's a lot less shallow but I thought it would work really well here uh, with some fresh um, greens from my garden that I had cut up. Now, you, if you don't want these to fall off, I would suggest you spray, spray them with some uh, hairspray that will keep the uh, branches from shedding. And now, I'm going to use these branches up top on my light fixture as well. And you definitely don't want to spray those because hairspray is a fire hazard and you just never know. So, um, but these ones are okay to spray. I will set it up and spray it later on. Um, not in this video, but once... Um, I see how things are and I can always add new ones. I have a huge tree with these uh, branches so I can always add new ones if I find that they're shedding quite a bit because it's not an overly big arrangement. But I do find that these greens do keep quite well better outside but than inside but they do hold, hold it together quite well. I had made last year a huge... Um, garland for my fireplace and uh, until I moved it off at the end of the year I had no problem with with it shedding we won't be eating at this table as often as we would when it was in a dinette because I do have the big island now that we can sit around and eat but we occasionally do eat dinners together when we're all together so I want to be able to move it so I didn't want it to be overly big that I could not do that. So I am also mixing in some uh, uh, fake greenery or artificial greenery that I picked up at Dollar Tree as well as had on hand at home and then I'm also going to be adding some berries and pine cones. So now I'm moving on to my light. I absolutely love the way this looked. And in previous years, I have used my artificial ones, but I did end up melting one of them. So here is the trick that I use. Maybe there's other tricks that are better than what I'm about to give you. If you know of a better one, let me know. But So don't spray your greens with uh, hairspray because you don't want to set off a spark or anything like that. I don't know if that's possible, but I'm just, I know that the hairspray is flammable, so you don't want to be adding this. Um, so I am taking two pieces, two branches, and I am twist tying them together and massaging the branches to bend. And then I am kind of hooking it behind the light bulb, but wherever the light bulb 
if if it touches i'm trying for it not to touch but wherever it might touch i trim off all of the green part of the branch so all the like the pine needles i guess they would be called and so that i don't know if they're pine needles but that way um if they do dry they don't they're not touching the light bulb this it does need to be get quite hot for it to um, anything for it to happen but so your light should needs to be on for a very long time for that to happen but just in case I don't want any of the green parts to be touching the light bulb I just love this look. I think it looks so whimsical and rustic at the same time. I just love it. So the room is done. I just need to add a tree skirt. And before I do that, I need to vacuum up the floor because there were pine needles or, or remnants of the branches everywhere. There was also shedding from the tree because it's a flock tree and we all know what kind of a mess. And I was actually quite impressed with Duke because he was okay with the vacuum cleaner. He's always been a little bit better than Frank when it came to the vacuum cleaner cleaner Frank you will never see Frank and the vacuum cleaner in the same room but um the Duke was always a little bit better but never a fan he is petrified of fireworks that's his uh scary thing but um yeah so I was just saying I'm quite impressed that he actually came to see what was going on and it wasn't bothered by the vacuum So here is the room all nicely decorated and let me tell you I could not be happier with the way this turned out. The only thing that I'm thinking is either adding a um, brownish ribbon to the tree and some berries or should I just leave it as is. Let me know down in the comments what you think I should do. Should I add a little bit? I do think it needs a little bit of ribbon just figuring out which color. I was debating maybe adding black because that's going to be the color scheme in my living room so kind of tie everything together but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I'll just buy a few thing a few different ribbons and see which one I like the best but what do you guys think let me know down in comments well I hope you had enjoyed this video if you did and you found it inspirational make sure you give it a thumbs up leave me a comment don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed if you think there's a friend or two that might enjoy this video share it with them and I will see you all in my next video. There's more decorating coming your way. So make sure that bell is on so you get notified when these videos do pop on. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you all so much for watching.
So we are starting today's Decorate With Me in my family room. I wanted to start it here because last year at the end of the season I had purchased a new Christmas tree. My favorite old Christmas tree was done and the branches were all falling off so it was time to replace it. And I like to buy them at the end of the season at this uh, specific nursery because they are 50 to 75% off. I was able to get this tree for $350 versus $700 what it was retailed at last year this year it's actually retails at eight hundred dollars and for me even 350 was a stretch for me so I went ahead and fluffed the tree up set it up for obviously first I set it up together then I fluffed it up I think fluffing up the Christmas tree is the most important step because it makes such a big difference and this takes me good probably about an hour to do because I end up uh, looking back fluffing up some more standing by fluffy more and so on and so forth so once the tree was fluffed up to the point where I was satisfied I vacuumed it up underneath and the beauty of getting a new Christmas tree is that there was barely any uh, pine needles on the floor so I am going to be adding a new skirt that I had purchased if you had missed my Christmas haul and prep video make sure you check it out it will be linked at the end I share all the new things I had purchased for this year's decorating and this skirt was one of them So now that the tree was fluffed up, the skirt was on, I proceeded on adding my new garland. Again, I shared this garland on the on my haul, haul video. And this year, I am decorating this mantle for the very first time because I had just DIY'd this mantle and made over this fireplace. If you want to see a full video of that, make sure you head on over to my DIY channel where I share that. This is the same electric fireplace that was here before. I just spruced it up so it fits more my new style in my home. Uh, and I am using command hooks. I have never used command hooks for um, garland. I do not know why I have never used them, but it had made a world of difference on putting this on versus the way I used to do it before um, so I am quite happy and I did purchase clear ones so that way they don't show I was gonna go get black ones maybe but clear ones um, they had clear ones the size that I needed at Walmart that they didn't have the black ones in the smaller size uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and fluff up the cedar garland I was contemplating about putting two of them which you will see but then I just decided to stick with the one Now it's time to add a little bit of embellishments to the garland and I'm going to be adding some bells. I have wanted to buy bigger bells but um, I can't find any that are on Amazon Prime 
that would come within a reasonable time and I wouldn't get charged um, international customs. So uh, I saw on one of uh, Mama from Scratch actually shared a video about uh, Walmart, a shop with me video, and she shared tons of um, bells that Walmart had. So I headed over to uh, Walmart to check out these big be uh, bells and of course here we don't have them so i did purchase a several different sizes of bells but they are fairly smaller however i did put five of them together on a rope and hung them on a corner and i am happy with the way it looks but i would love to add a bit bigger bells so if you live in canada and you know where i can find bigger bells um let me don't uh, let me know down in the comments and then i also added the small bells that i had all around the garland i think this just made it look really nice and rustic I also added some reddish burgundy ribbon, uh, just a satin ribbon to the end of the garland and I love this new look. And to complete the garland, I am going to add some lights. I am just using clear lights because I have a ton of them uh, left over from my old tree, which wasn't pre-lit, and I had like thousand lights on it. So I have a lot of these lights, so I wanted to use them up instead of buying new ones. I think twinkling lights would look really nice here as well. But like I said, I have these, so I wanted to use these up. And here it is, and I just love the way this looks. And now I'm going to go ahead and decorate my tree. If you watched my previous Decorate With Me videos from last year and the year before, this is, I'm still keeping with the same theme in this room. I like my traditional tree. I have been collecting uh, ornaments for this tree since my husband and I moved in together. So this has a lot of memories. So I want to keep um, continuing with that style and that look. So there's going to be a lot of reds, golds, and golds in here with the berry garland going around it. And I often switch out the ribbon and I have actually decided while I was decorating that I'm going to add that same satin ribbon to it, but just tying it to the end of the branches. And I did not have enough, so I will have to go out and buy some more. Uh, so you will just have to come back and watch my home tour once it's ready to see what that looks like i did end up adding two of them just to give you an idea what that looks like but i did not have um enough i'm just showing you here my pomegranates i love these pomegranates i had purchased them probably about 10 years ago at a local flower shop and i just love them they're so unique and so different than uh, most of the decor that i have come across Without 
without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. So I did not end up using all of the decor like I had on my other tree because this is a smaller tree but I used up all of the most important ones and I just love the way that looks and here's that ribbon how I'm tying it up so I will just go and get some more and I will probably get gold ribbon as well I was thinking maybe even black but we'll see I'm going to style my coffee table I had a vision of how I wanted this to look but I struggled with achieving it I switched out so many things around before I actually uh, reached the look that I liked I'm not sure whether this is gonna stay but it is the best uh, it it um uh, the best one yet so as you can see I switched up the tree and the deer and I like the tree better than the deer but I'm still I feel like there's still something missing and then the last uh, second last thing that I was going to decorate is my side table and I wanted to add a little bit of lights here I know there's a lamp but I just wanted another like set of Christmas lights so I have these battery operated uh, kind of twinkling like fairy tale lights so I'm going to link those down below for you to check out if you want to check them out um, but they're battery operated. I do love my lights to be plugged in more because I can just put them on a Wi-Fi switch and then turn them on and off on a scheduled time. But these I will have to turn on and off myself. And then I had part of the haul as well were some pillows I had purchased. So I'm adding two pillows here. I'm not sure whether I'm going to add more or not. This is a family room and we do um lounge on these couches quite a bit at night and I don't want to overcrowd them with pillows but we'll see I feel like I could use maybe two more pillows on these couches but and these are new couches if you haven't seen them yet they are uh, decorist and we love them and they're both sofas so they're both the same size a bit bigger well i hope you had enjoyed this decorate with me video i do feel like i had a lot less to decorate this year in this room than i did previous years but i am loving how everything turned out if you had enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and make sure your bell is on because there are a ton more decorate with me videos coming up i think next one will be the formal dining room so make sure that bell is on so you don't miss it when it posts so until next time thank you so much for watching and also wanted to mention thank you so much for my mega video love that you guys have all showed i am over the moon um, grateful for all the support you had shown on that video so thank you for watching this one and i will see you all in my next one bye no he wouldn't miss this in christmas times We are starting today with a pretty bare canvas. I took down all of my fallen Halloween decor, uh, which is a whole separate video and can be found in my Christmas playlist 2022.
and I am going to start off with my little coffee bar over here. If you've been here for a while, you saw last year my coffee bar was much bigger because it was in my dining room, but now I have a dedicated section in my kitchen for it, and um, I am enjoying decorating it for the seasons. My kitchen decor is a theme is staying the same as last year, which is gingerbread, and I have added few new items to it. The little gingerbread uh, can, uh, cookie jar came from a thrift store as well as the salt and pepper shakers and then the little mug that uh, says hot chocolate came from a friend and the little tree is a Dollarama tree and the sign is home sense. And then on the second shelf I'm going to add some of my hot cocoa because my new coffee maker has hot water so uh, I am using powdered cocoa instead of uh, the K-Cops like I did last previous years. And I'm also adding some crushed candy canes and some marshmallows. The hot cocoa sign I DIY'd over on my DIY channel. As well as these jars, they're the ones with the bamboo lids, but I had painted the lids red. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you are the good times with you baby this year is just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memories oh and i've been for me, when I decorate, I like to play around and move things around and change things out until I reach the point where I'm satisfied. So on the second shelf, aside from the hot cocoa, I also included my Disney account, the Christmas countdown that I had purchased at a Christmas store in Disney Springs. And then the Oh Snap mug came from HomeSense and the rest of the stuff was DIY'd. So on the bottom here, I am adding another Disney item. It is a Disney World uh, Christmas mug. I had gotten that at the parks. And I always have to have a mug on this coffee maker because it drains water before it brews and after it brews coffee. So I like to have a mug and what a perfect way to add extra Christmas decor. So I am using this Christmas mug for that. And I'm going to just play around here and try and figure out how to um, decorate this little tiny corner where I really want to add all sorts of things. But as you can see, it's too small for a ton of decor. So um, just keep playing around until I, I am satisfied with the look. If you are new here, my name is Sonia and welcome to Domestic Diva Home. If you enjoy all things Christmas decorating, you might want to stick around by hitting that subscribe button before you go. I would love to have you back. And if you guys are enjoying today's video, I would love it for you guys to give it a big thumbs up. Christmas 
So I think at this point I have figured out what I want in this a corner. I did feel like it needed a little bit of height and then I added just all of my syrups and then I still felt like it was missing something. So I had picked up recently these five uh, ceramic village houses at Costco and I thought this would look really good in in here but then I also felt like I should add one over here but I wasn't happy with the way that looked so I added that same house up top on a shelf which I will show you in just a minute so this is uh, finally at the point where I am happy actually quite happy with the way it turned out Now I'm going to decorate this tier, two tier tray um, I was planning on using it in the corner of the kitchen but um, we'll see what happens. Well you just have to stick around and see whether I use it or not I guess. Um, and I kind of decorated it pretty similar to the previous years I guess. Uh, lots of uh, DIYs in here as well as some thrifted items. Um, and some also bought items like the, these little gingerbreads and the candy cane ornaments. I had purchased those um, at Michael's. Don't even care what we do if I spend it with you. So as um, I mentioned at the beginning, if you aren't familiar with my channel, this is a brand new kitchen for me to decorate for this season. Obviously fall season was the first season that I was decorating, uh, but definitely uh, trial and error here trying to figure out what works, what doesn't. I do come back to this corner several times before I um, am happy with the look. I do think that red looks really good up, up against the white, but I am finding that some more wood elements would look good as well, so I need to keep an eye out for those to add. M maybe not this year, maybe next year. So over here, I thought it would be a good idea to hang up my hot cocoa sign that I had DIY'd, but um, the way the nails are, I just did not work out. So I took that gingerbread sign that I added in that corner, and I knew this would work well here because I did use it in this spot last year. So now I needed to figure out what to do <clears throat> back in this corner. I did feel like it needed something and we do have our speaker there um i'm not sure whether the speaker is going to stay but it is there for now so i played around to uh, trying to figure out um how to decorate this i do end up moving things around a little bit and just it just did not work for me baby this year it's just gonna be you and me So now I decided to switch things around with a uh, tear tray and this giant sign which I DIY'd and I absolutely love. Um, and um, still keeping these little, uh, the three other houses here. But um, at this point, I thought I was happy with the way everything looked. And um, I just added a little bit of greenery um, to that sign, which you will see in just a second, uh, just to add a little bit extra color. 
but um, and then once I was done with this I proceeded to work on my little tray that's on my big island you and me in the cold thought it never be true wherever i go i got you oh i have stopped running there is no way trying you better for this tree i am uh, like to decorate it a little bit with some cookie cutters these are actually um, plastic cookie cutters that I picked up at Dollar Tree and I had made them look um, kind of antique and rustic and metal um, over on my DIY channel a couple years back and then I'm also adding some gingerbread cookie ornaments I had picked up really neat gingerbread men at a local store um, not too far from us and they are so pretty and so realistic looking and very rustic looking and I love adding them to this tree in the kitchen. Um, while I was working on this tree I had decided that the back wall is not working for me so I headed out to HomeSense and see if I could find something to add to it. So I purchased several items. So I purchased this house. Actually what I went for I had seen a couple maybe last week a giant gingerbread house and I thought maybe that would look good in this corner however they didn't have it anymore they sold out the lady told me within a day of having them I don't I wasn't sure whether they were gonna fit anyways so I did go with the tape measure just to to make sure but they didn't have them so that solved that and then I saw this um, actually my husband saw this metal red house but I was a little bit worried how it was gonna look with um, the red houses here so I ended up buying something else to go on here which you will see in just a minute but I do love this little metal house I think is I guess it's a schoolhouse um, I think it looks really good and I love that it's lit up it's it is what this corner needed a little bit of light too and then I picked up this Ray Dunn uh, Merry Christmas uh train the ceramic train set and on its own it looked good but I felt like it wasn't enough so I ended up adding a few things to it um, I had a couple wooden ornaments from Dollar Tree that I made into to look like cookies so I added those in here so a green Christmas tree and a, a snowflake and then I added some more of the um, the little snowflake ornament or the star ornaments from uh, Michael's here as well the gingerbread looking ones and then I had this little dangling Santa so I thought he would look good uh, at the front it looks like he's driving the train and then I added a couple things to the side just added some green for the for extra color and some pine cones and then from my garden I had snipped several um, cedar branches while I, when I was decorating my dining room so I ended up adding that over here and I think this whole uh, corner is finally exactly the way I wanted it to be or in or imagined it to be, I guess, with all the new items that I had purchased. So sad to say, I did not love the tear tray, so I had ended up moving it somewhere else in the house, which you will just have to come back to watch that video. And I ended up putting these little houses here, uh, and it balanced the light because they are lit up. So the other corner is lit up, now this corner is lit up, but I also felt like this needed height as well and it's a good way to cover up the outlet too so I added one of these Christmas trees from Dollarama with a burlap bottom and I think this does look really good on this side and I'm finally happy with the way my countertop looks what do you guys think which way which way did you like better Another item that I picked up, which I thought was so cute, is 
I don't know if that's what this is meant for, but I'm going to use it as my spoon and a wooden spoon holder on my on top of my stove. Don't care of anything else. It's Christmas. Now I'm going back to my tray and I had actually swapped out the ribbon for just some rope to hold the ornaments, um, the cookie cutters on. I think that looked a little bit better. I think the uh, ribbon was a little much. And then I also have just some battery operated twinkling lights here. And I put a uh, just a piece of burlap that I cut out to the for the bottom just to cover up the feet. And Part of my decorating and why it takes me so long is because I'm constantly letting these dogs in and out of the house all day long. So I have added this snowman and uh, a candle and another gingerbread house just to tie everything together. I do play around with this quite a bit because I felt like it was missing something. But I am happy with the the way it ended up looking just with a few embellishments between the candle and the house and the snowman. Some items are just very sentimental and they need to be included in the decor. And that's what I found. Some items here just needed to be included. And some kind of love, my friend. I pray it will never end. You like to be here too. It's Christmas. And outside snow's glistening. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas with you. Oh, it's such a charm. Got you up in my arm. There's nobody at the door. And the last thing that I'm adding to my decor is just a kitchen rack. This will not stay here for very long. My husband absolutely hates these. So, but I thought it would look good just for a little while. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this kitchen decorate with me video. Please let me know down in the comments what you guys thought. What If you've been around, what do you think? my kitchen decor from before to now or if you watched my mega video that I posted at the beginning of the season to just to compare the kitchens I do love how bright and airy the kitchen looks and I think it has the right amount of decor without uh, overcrowding the countertops if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure your notification bell is on so you get notified when more Christmas Decorate With Me videos come up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!